Hello and welcome to the top 10 animal mods for Minecraft 119.2. We're going to be looking at both fabric and forge and specifically we're going to be looking at existing animals. So no new animal species, just the ones that are already in Minecraft. So the first mod we're going to consider is horse buff. So with horse buff, any saddled horse is not going to wander about. So this horse, doesn't matter how long I leave it for, it's always going to be in this exact same place. So when we get on the horse, we can obviously go into the horse's inventory like so. But if we press sprint and then E, you're going to essentially going to get your own inventory. So that lets you access that. There's also some stuff with horse fading, for instance. So when we go down, you see the horse will actually fade. So we can actually look more carefully to see what we're doing. You can also offset the, the head of the horse as well. So it doesn't go quite as upright or you can adjust that. Now... Also see the step assist. Typically horses won't be able to go from a path block to a block above because it's it's over a block tall. But with this that is also eliminated. And also when you're going upstairs, you see how smoothly the horse goes up the stairs. And then we can look down and if we wanted to go back down carefully, obviously it's quite high up, we have to go down. And the other thing as well is that mining blocks, there's no penalty for mining blocks anymore. So we're going to be mining those blocks exactly the same speed. But yeah, you can see, so really useful, say if we wanted to dig down here, I've already dug this area, we could dig down and still be on the horse the whole time. Pretty useful also for splash potions, because typically we throw the splash potion at the feet, so that also is very useful for the horses. Um, now the final thing to mention is, when we go through a nether portal, go through the nether portal, No auto horse dismount. Okay, now we've got a mod called More Frogs. So here in the jungle, for instance, we've got the Poison Dart Frog. And they like to eat uh, slime. And we're just going to look at different biomes. So for instance, in this corner here, I've got a Deep Dark Frog. So this one as well is going to like to eat slime. As you can see. Also got the Snowy Plains Frog, which is called the Wood Frog. See, with the wood texture, again, you can see they like to eat slime. Uh, we've got the warped forest frog now. They have the texture of a warped fungus. However, in the nether ones, they prefer to eat magma cubes. So we'll take a look at the warped frog here. And you see they're going to be dropping shroom lights. Uh, the crimson forest frog now. Let's try and make sure we're in the right spot. So the crimson forest also like to eat magma cubes. They're also going to be dropping shroom lights. The Soul Sand Valley frog now. So we'll give them some magma cubes as well. And there you can see the drop, which is bone mill. Basalt Delta frog now. And we'll give them some magma cubes. They're going to be dropping magma blocks. We've got the end highlands frog here. Let's do a bunch of them. They're going to be dropping chorus fruit. So here we can see the end frog. This is the standard ender frog that we've got. And again, we're going to give this frog some magma cubes. And this time we're going to get light blocks. So this is a way to get light blocks, which is pretty cool. So you can see... Pretty cool blocks. And finally we have the Dusk and Dawn Frog, which is a pretty cool frog. They like to eat slime. And you, but you can only get this one above level 256. But yeah, this but these frogs have literally gone all the way from the platform up there, and they've just landed. So if you want to get them down from very high up, they can easily land. Okay, the next mod is called Pick Your Poison. So for this, you're going to need bamboo, iron nuggets, and feathers to make the darts, and you're also going to need bowls to be able to pick up the frogs. Okay, so you can make darts like this with no effects. 
And then in jungle biomes, you will find various different types of frog. And then you can essentially coat your darts with the different types. So you can see you only get one, and they're going to give you different toxins and stuff like that. And if you wanted to as well, you could take a bowl and you could put the frog in a bowl as well. Uh, and the advantage with that is, is that this essentially lets you take it gives you uh, that advancement and then you get the various different effects. You can see there's some stuff with the, the hearts. It's, it's kind of like a lot of graphic cool stuff on this. So you can use the darts themselves as just arrows that are shot really fast. Many of the effects though are kind of useless, so unfortunately you can pick them up again. Uh, there is one from the red frog, which is uh, the red poison dart frog. Which is stimulation, and that will let you essentially run even when you're very hungry. Here we can see in the mushroom fields, there's a new type of frog. And this is from a mod called Delightful Froge, I believe is the pronunciation. Um, is the word frog with Larry on it. And let's see if they like some magma cubes as well. Okay, so we've now got the froge light. I'm not sure it's any particular different from the uh, regular frog light. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be particularly different. Uh, from any other frog light. I guess it's just a different color. It looks a bit like the ochre frog light. A little bit darker, maybe. It's a little bit darker uh, than the ochre frog light. But it, I don't think it has made much difference in terms of the actual light level. But still, just a new type of frog light. And. Oh, wow. You can also do that. So that is. What's the point of that? I guess there's no point in that. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. <laughs> do, do they like the frog? Yeah. I mean, why would they want it? But yeah, it doesn't look like that any other type of frog will actually uh, spawn here. So obviously, uh, so that is what this mod does. Pretty cool. All right, so next up we have Moo Blooms, Flower Cow. So this is going to add all the different 12 flower types of Flower Cow and also a few in the nether. So if we go over here, see some tulips, some poppies, there's some tulips, Lily of the Valley, there's Cornflower. I always get Cornflower and, cornflower and Orchid. That was actually Orchid as well. Uh, Allium, uh, Azubule, let's keep trying to see which ones other ones we can get, there's the cornflower, dandelion, daisy, lily of the valley, it is a one with a wither rose. All right, next one is called Rise of the Zombie Pig. So given a certain amount of pigs, this, all this mod does is it adds the ability to right click with rotten flesh. It says the zombie pig rises and it will convert them into the zombified piglins. Now we're gonna take a look at colorful goats. So with colorful goats, you can see we can dye the goat any color we want. And we can then shear the, the goat as well. Let's try it. See, we can change the color as well. And there's also the addition of... Uh, if we just take a look here, the goat steak. So, a couple of additions with colorful goats. And the next one here is red pandas. So, wow, that looks, doesn't even look like a panda. Let's see if they'd like bamboo. Red pandas, I guess, are much smaller. 
They do like their bamboo, though. <coughs> and they have similar uh, sounds. So, yeah. So, you can see what the pandas look like. They kind of look like pandas. I guess red pandas do look kind of different. Um, but they do have the... They do look, it sounds like they do have the actual panda noises. The next mod is called Horse Expert. So, you create this monocle. And the monocle essentially lets you see stats about the horse. So if we go to a, see a horse now, for instance, this horse over here, we're going to see the health, the speed, and the jump height. And this is actually very useful with the horse buff mod, because one feature I didn't mention with horse buff is that it actually changes the breeding as well to make sure that it's 10% better the foal will be than its, uh, its parent horses. So that's really cool. And the other thing that this mod does is with the llamas, so you can see, I can see the information about the horse, but not the llama, and that's because the llama's not tame. Now the llama is tame, and we can see some stats about the llama as well. Because the final mod is horse on boat. So we'll just go to the boat, and you can see the horse will actually change to sit on the boat in a, in a way that actually makes sense, right? Let's try them on just a regular boat and see if I can still go on the boat at that point. Uh, you can just get off like that. Let's put them on this one. Uh, this is more makes more sense now. Uh, yeah, so it's really it's it's not intended for the uh, boats with the chest, um, but obviously you can then travel around. So yeah, so that is going to do for this video. So thanks for watching.